literally 6 a.m. DJ and I haven't really slept at all. We were in Wadi Rum, we did our three-hour Jeep tour, then had to drive four hours to our hotel airport, which we literally spent three hours in, just sort of taking a power nap and finishing our packing, and then we hopped on a plane, and now we are finally in Antalya, Turkey. So I'm gonna give you a little room tour, and then I think we're gonna grab some food because they have a restaurant that's open 24 hours. And yeah, super exciting stuff. Let's see if we can uh, catch some sleep afterwards. <laughs> Look at this breakfast. Guys, it just keeps going. Like literally all the way. May have gone a little overboard with the breakfast. I think DJ may have done the same. <laughs> when in Turkey, right? job of talking to you guys the last couple of days but it's been a little hectic so just to do a little recap DJ and I visited the Dead Sea and then we went to Petra and then we made our way to Wadi Rum and spent a few nights in the desert during that time we went back to Petra for a second time and then after that we got on a plane left Jordan and came to Antalya, Turkey, and we're here for the Inflow Influencer event. And last night we had our welcome dinner, which was really amazing Asian cuisine, and I also didn't do a great job at vlogging that, but I did get some dessert. Um, and then today we are having breakfast right now and we have a couple of, what are we doing? We're going to be doing a few workshops and some kind of competition, so I'll take you along with me. So the best campaigns, the best ideas, are the ideas that are most fearless and most in love. Jay Dibney, I'm from the United States. Find your champion. And our hashtags are hashtag find your champion and how champions fly. All right, so our campaign mission statement is we're cultivating a constellation of culture, community, and creativity. So this place literally feels like we went to Vegas and we're in the Caesars Palace or something. It is enormous. The property is so big and there's a little, on the bottom floor, there's like a little mall area with a couple restaurants. And then on the lobby floor, there's a fitness center, a spa, some more restaurants. And then there's all the rooms, there's pools outside, it's right near the beach. I mean, this place is really incredible.
All right, we ate breakfast and then we went to our workshop where we were split into groups and we had creators from all over the world. So in our group, we were representing USA, Russia, Iran, and we had to come up with a campaign surrounding Turkish Airlines and UEFA Champions League. So DJ and I ended up uh, representing and speaking for our team. But today we were presenting in front of, what would you say, like 70, 80? No, probably like over 100. Wow, really? there's 70 influencers. And yeah. There's more people in there, judges. And yeah, yeah, we, so. we were speaking in front of all the creators, the judges, and, um, you know, I think we did a pretty good job. I was a little nervous, a little nerve wracking. So They're going to announce the winner tonight at dinner. And the winners get two round trip tickets to anywhere in the world that Turkish Airline flies in business class. So we're really hoping to win those. That'd be a nice little honeymoon, uh, mm -hmm. honeymoon treat. <laughs> Last night, unfortunately, our team did not win the grand prize. Yeah. But we need we did VAR. Our best. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> anyway, so we had a really amazing dinner last night, and then we had breakfast this morning, filmed some content, DJ did some soccer stuff on the beach, right? And now we're here at Land of Legends, a theme park in Italia, Turkey, and it literally looks like the Disney World of Turkey. Yeah, so. it's, like a, it's like a mini combo between like Vegas and Disney, but in Turkey. Yeah, like yeah. a mini mini version. It's definitely cool. one of the wildest things I've ever seen. It's, in, it's interesting, yeah. 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 Hey, baby, you ready to do this thing? This was the, uh, the Disney World of Turkey. <laughs> We've got our castle behind us. And it's a, it's a cute little it's park. A cute little it's park, funky. Yeah, for kids. And mostly, mostly for kids. Mostly water, little rock, water rides as well. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, it's a big water park. But. But we went on the hyper coaster, which yeah. looks like this. our last day in Antalya, Turkey at the Riksos <laughs> Hotel. DJ and I are just kind of hanging out in a Gabbana and our flight to Istanbul tonight is at 9.30. No, actually, yeah, we leave for the airport at 9.30 and our flight is at 11 p.m. and then we have a couple days in Istanbul with Inflow and we're going to be going to 
a bunch of the sites there and then we have one day completely to ourselves and then we are headed home so yeah we're just kind of relaxing taking it in for the rest of the day probably gonna go get some lunch soon and that's pretty much it Okay, uh, like a, uh, uh, okay, HC uh, limousine. And then, uh, not like the American bloopers, this is very tasty and not heavy. Let's go fishing. <laughs> DJ and I arrived in Istanbul around 3 a.m. last night or this morning. And we woke up for breakfast and now we are on a little guided tour with info of some of the major sites and beautiful places of Istanbul. All right, so fun little flower fact for you. Tulips are native to Turkey and right now we're walking through this beautiful park where the tulips bloom and every year they have a festival. Unfortunately, right now it's not the right season so we're not seeing any, but maybe someday in the future we'll get to see all the beautiful tulips of Turkey. We do have some hyacinths in bloom though. or the imperial seal. <laughs> you said three, two, one, and we start. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. Welcome, Welcome to the TRT World Top Top Quiz. Quiz. Right now we are touring the grounds of Topkapi Palace and it is so beautiful here. Lots of people, lots of lots of kids on field trips happening, but um, it's still it's still really amazing to see. Right now we are on our way to a mosque that apparently not many tourists get to see and the reason is because no one can seem to find it. So we're lucky enough to have a guide with us that is taking us to this mosque. We're really excited to see it and he's taking us through all these windy sneaky alleyways. And I'm leading the way right now. And you can see how sophisticated they are and how... Semiyar Allah Bulimah Rustam Pasha, the Grand Vizier of Suleiman the Magnificent, 16th century. Alright, this is our second day in Istanbul. And today we are on our own, walking around. We're going to be going to some of the major sites. And we're going to see all of the rainbow umbrellas hanging up. We're also going to go back to the Grand Bazaar. And where else are we going? Ah uh, yes, we're going to what is it called? Do you remember? There's two. There's an end terrace and there's seven hills mm -hmm. restaurants that have rooftop terraces um, looking yeah. out to the Blue Mosque. Yeah, they have really, really incredible views of the Blue Mosque. So uh, come along with us while we do all that fun stuff. We're here at the Rainbow Umbrellas. Um, slightly, slightly chaotic. Could be worse, but uh, we're gonna have some really good Instagram versus reality content for you. So. <laughs> but here it looks so cool.
gosh, the Seven Hills rooftop restaurant was so fun. It was such a unique experience. I mean, if you're into seagulls, I guess. No, it was just fun. It was nice yeah. views, nice food. Yeah, the view was amazing. You could see the Blue Mosque and then the view of the Hagia Sophia. I hope I'm pronouncing yeah. that correctly. And the sea as well. Yeah, so, yeah. The boats. Very nice. Yeah, it was definitely, and definitely a must see. We went at here. lunch. Uh, we also didn't have to wait at all. We just no. went upstairs and got a table, and then they cleared a table in the corner for us with a nice review, which is really cool. Though. Yeah, yeah, that was really nice. That maybe we just got lucky today. I don't know, but we didn't need a reservation, and we pretty much went right up yep. and, and sat. So. Yeah, good, good day. Good morning, it's our last day in Istanbul. Um, we're in a bit of a rush right now because it's supposed to rain from 12 to 1 and we still have a couple of sites that we didn't get to hit yesterday. Today we are going to a rooftop to do some photos and then we are going to the colorful town where you see the rainbow stairs and the rainbow buildings so we're really excited but uh we gotta go all right so we are here at nova santier cafe where we're taking some beautiful rooftop photos overlooking istanbul this is one of the most iconic places to go take your photo on the rooftop it's great, you just uh, pay a fee, and then they can actually edit the seagulls in for you. That's a little hot tip, is that there's no seagulls, so there's no risk of getting pooped on. <laughs> DJ's about to try a Turkish coffee for the first time. How is it? Honestly, like, I like it better than like, regular coffee. Really? I don't like coffee that much. Really? You know mud water? Yeah. So this cafe also has an amazing view of this mosque behind me. So we're going to take a couple photos here before we head out, but this was really great actually. The weather is terrible. It's rainy, it's cloudy, so we didn't think we were gonna get super lucky with taking photos on the rooftop, but they actually look really good. And the perk was we had it all to ourselves, so we could take as much time as we wanted. And I think we got some really good shots. I'm excited to see them, but here we are. Gonna take some photos here. We just had our very last day. We started out in Jordan. We went to Petra, Wadi Rum, and Dead then sea. yes, the Dead Sea. And then we flew to Turkey, and we stayed in Antalya for a couple days. And then we were just in Istanbul. This has been an incredible experience, thanks to Inflow Network and Turkish Airlines. They really provided such an amazing experience for us, and we're stoked that we got some business class tickets on the way home. We're gonna go check out what's the way. Uh, Turkish Airlines Lounge. Yeah. The Champions League. Perfect. So we're going to do that. We'll show you. And then, yeah, we're going to head home. So thanks for joining, everybody.